Hi there, my loves. Okay, so I want to talk to you about dry shampoo. I try to wash my hair every single day. I have alopecia areata, and my doctor says that it's just better for me to wash my hair every day to kind of make sure that your scalp is clean. To be honest with you, there are days when I just kind of can't make that happen. So, I love me on those days a little dry shampoo situation. It is a very easy way to get more volume in your hair, to clean your hair, which it's not really cleaning, but I think what it's doing is it's soaking up oils, right? Just take out my hair here so you can see. I don't remember, um, we had a little bit of a crazy weekend, so, um, it is not clean right now, my hair. So I, there's lots of different ones out there in the market. You can get them at Mass, you know, at drugstores or Target. You can get them at Ulta, of course. You can get them anywhere in all different price points. So I've got one here that's from Ojan, one from Oscar Blondie. This is not actually a dry shampoo. This is an Orbe dry finishing spray thickening so it says I don't I don't know if it's a volume spray but he does have a dry spray which is a texturizing spray so anyway something that's going to dry and that is going to um, sort of soak up those oils so I have nothing in my hair right now I have a little bit of hairspray and um, I just brushed it out with the ponytail so there's no tangles okay so number one you always have to shake it shake it shake it and what I usually do is I start on this side of my head um, and I just kind of make little sections. So what I'll do is I'll go like this and just going to tell you you're going to see that you're going to see some crazy things. You're going to see my roots. You're probably going to see my alopecia areata patches, um, bald spots. So don't be alarmed. But this is actually really good too because it gives you a lot of volume. So if you have areas that need a little extra volume, good to go. So I hold it like this. I give it a little zhuzh and give it a little shake. I usually take about an inch and a half or so, maybe a couple of inches, and just do a little something. It's, um, it's a little bit cool, okay, when you do it but it feels kind of good. So, move it all the way to the other side. Okay, so now, after you've done that, what I'll usually do is I'll take it and I'll pull it all forward, give you a little cousin it situation, and you really wanna do the crown of your head because that tends to be where you get a lot of that sort of oily situation. Oh, that was a lot. A little anxiety in there. Okay, so then, as you can see, it has a little bit more. And that's that. Look at you, girl, hey. She's got a little more volume and she's all clean. Anyway, so that's that. That's just a quick, easy way to use a little bit of dry shampoo. Um, I will probably wash my hair tonight because it just, I then start to feel like it feels a little gunky. Not bad, not heavy, nothing like that, but just I like to wash my hair. So that's that. I hope that that helped you. And remember, what makes you different makes you beautiful. Love you, God bless, and stay gorgeous. Yeah.